Welcome to the reveal of my naked model for the group build hosted by Sodak Model Cars. If you are just now tuning into this, it isn't about naked models. It's about building a model without using any paint. Well, almost. We could use Molotov pens and Sharpie markers, but I really tried to keep those to a bare minimum. I did spray some clear to seal the tire decals. It seemed like the less evil since even a white gel pen felt like using paint. I focused on just using the red plastic from this 1998 issue of Monogram's 57 Vet, along with the black plastic from the 1981 issue of Monogram's 57 Street Vet, along with plenty of bare metal foil. As I mentioned in the intro, this kit and I go way back, with my father helping build the original 1977 issue for me when I was a kid. That one was built with no paint as well, except he did add a bit of white paint in the cove. I really wanted him to paint it like the hot rod version on the side of the box, but that wasn't going to happen during that afternoon. So fast forward more than 40 years, and now it's my turn to add a black hot rod 57 vet to the shelf. And here's what it turned out like. While far from perfect, I think it looks pretty tough and captures the look of the box art pretty well especially considering the complete lack of any paint. Final assembly did have a few issues. In part one, I showed that the floor pan was a bit warped. Despite efforts to heat it up and get it straight, it just wouldn't be as nice as an unwarped part. This required some pressure and a heavy dose of super glue once the interior and inner fenders were attached. All of the chrome parts went on without any fuss. Even the windshield and frame assembly went on nice. I left the roll bar unglued so I could display it with the included hardtop, even though the original box art does not show it. Speaking of the box art, another goal was to try to replicate the photos on the box. To attempt this, I went in a couple of directions. To recreate the main box art image, the first direction was to colorize the background in Photoshop. That is one way to do it, but I did want to try to do it in camera. This required a large green poster board for the background. My still photos are typically shot with a Nikon D5600 connected wirelessly to a Godox DP1000 Studio strobe, which is attached to a Neewer softbox. While this might seem a bit overkill for most model builders, I firmly believe if you really want to see what your models look like, get a quality camera, along with a studio light. After a few minor color adjustments, I'm pretty happy with this image as my representation of the original box art. To create the side of the box images, the same green background was used. Then I switched to a yellow background and the engine shot came out pretty nice. To provide a photo comparison, I also have a collapsible light box that is easily found on the Amazons. This particular one includes a green background. I use my iPhone 12 to capture the next image. After a little color adjustment, this image is pretty good. But the lack of depth of field that is typical with most smartphone cameras is evident with the rear of the model being quite out of focus. So it's time to move on and put this one on the shelf. But before we go, let's watch this one go around in circles a bit. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how this model was built, and perhaps you'll try building your own naked model in the future. I've already got an idea for another one, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do, because I have all kinds of model car stories to tell. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.